Howdy, I'm CyberX with Outlandish Lickcraft, dude, and today I'm gonna show you how to add these particles into the right bone so that they look all fancy like. So let's get going. First off, we need to have some bones named in our model. So the first place we're gonna start is we're gonna start in block bench, and we're just gonna make sure that we know what the bone is called that we're gonna want to spawn so I've just picked one cube and I put it in a bone and I name it and then I pick a second set of cubes and I'm calling it ring or um, I think I'm just calling it ring and so we have one coming up through here and then we've got one coming from here so we have two bones that we know what their names are and we're going to use those in our model. So what do we do? We've got our model in the game so we can see it. We want to make sure that we've got our model and we can see it. And then we're going to open up the asset editor and you do that through when you're in creative through asset editor there and then it's going to bring up this guy. And we're gonna browse to our items. And so we're getting to our items. Now this is a item that converts to a block when you put it down. And so I'm gonna show you in the state, but the logic here is gonna be the same. Wherever you see this, uh, so drop item, let's see, item particles, you can add particles in. And wherever you see um, anywhere that it says particles, so block particles, that's the one we're going to do to show off when it's in its block state. So when it's in its block state, we're going to hit plus, this is, and, and it'll add one, or hit a plus over there, and it's going to add one, and you might get a little air pop up, but that's okay, it's just saying that you don't have the system ID yet, so we're going to click system ID, and then we're going to scroll through our list, and we're going to find one we want to do. So if we want to find uh, smoke, for example, then we type smoke and we find a smoke one. And then where ourself, it's who, who, who's doing it. And then this is where we're going to put in our bone. Now they call it a node, but that's what the bone is. So we're going to say the, the bowl part. And then we've got color. So we could change the color of the particle. And we've got scale. And then we've got some offsets and pitches and other stuff if we need to mess with it or a detach if we don't want it to move with with the the entity or the block itself. And then we did another one and we did neck. Um, I didn't see neck in that. Uh, I did not see neck in that model because uh, I just had it in this holdable one. Now, if you don't have the bone name right, I think you'll just do it at the, the bottom. But we have neck here, which is just this side. And I have, right now I'm just messing with how to position it. So that's why I have two in hand and a, and a block version. Um, but I'm not sure that you really need to do that. So back to here. So we have the right bone name set here or node. I've scaled it down. Uh, we, we could change the color wherever we want the color to be. And then position, I've just put it uh, Y1. So that's it. We, we've we now set all these particles. If you wanted to make your own particle, you could probably put that in there. I haven't done that yet. But that's pretty much all we have to do. We just need to find the places that it says particle. This is in the block version. There's also in the dropped item version, which is what this one is. So this is the dropped item animation the dropped version so when it's floating and circling around we can have uh, a particle coming out of it i'll show you that in a second and then there's different places you can have other particles that you just got to find in there in all of these settings and you can just search for it so now check out when we break a block not in uh op see how in that mode it has a, a little whirlwind particle coming out of it as well. 
And you can see it's not perfectly aligned because of just how it goes up. So that's where you'd use that offset and you just push it over just a little. Um, and then you can see this one, we changed it. So now it's got this more like fire uh, coming out of it. And then it settles, which looks really good. Like that actually looks really good. You can almost put this at the top and then it would settle down. You can see how the particles have like some concept of uh, physics. So they hit that block. And then here they just look really sick. But look how easy that was. So if you wanted to have the food and have the food have like a sickness or a, a spoiled, you could just have that coming off of it. It's just that easy. Put a bone in their name and then go into the item or the block version in this case. Uh, if you wanted it when it was floating, then same thing. So if like you can see when it's floating, you could have it be that as well. It's that easy. So I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted. And this is how to get your uh, particles to work off of the bone. Uh, we'll do another like how to add particles at some point when I get to that stage. I think the particle editor, editor is actually built in so you could just go modify that particle right now in the asset editor. So I'm uh, CyberX without Lenish Crafted. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring that bell. Uh, if you have any uh, extra finances around you could always throw, us, throw them our way to help out. Uh, if you'd like to sponsor some mods or add-ons, that's always nice too. Uh, don't forget to uh, comment down if you have some guides or questions. Join the Discord to help us out. Use CyberX as the code. If you haven't gotten the gamer, you're going to get the gamer. Your friends are going to get the gamer. Their parents are going to get the gamer. Whatever. Thanks for watching.